Hey, Sean Faber here from Simple Sites. I am bringing you the dog training snapshot today. So there's gonna be three, three different areas, maybe four different areas that we're gonna check out. Uh, I just wanna give you a quick walk through, maybe 10 minutes. So um, this is built, let me show, we have the, the funnels there. Everything is, is completely organized and so you're gonna see exactly what custom values and automations and funnels are attributed to this snapshot. So the custom values are straightforward. Um, you're going to have the sender name, which is the business owner's name. It's where the, 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 the emails that are getting sent out to the leads, you're going to use this name here. The name of the offer, if there's a discount amount, you're going to put that here. The local area market name, the link to the logo right here, the company's logo. The agency's name and email, so these are going to be used to deliver agencies to the dog trainer from the system so they know um, they can whitelist or whitelist um, these this email and this name in their email inbox so they can make sure to get every single lead that comes through once you get a domain connected you're going to connect the calendar and the funnel domains phone number and then i believe just a couple more here um, yeah the actual industry name there so let's get let's go to the exciting part now go to the funnels yeah here we have the um, there's two versions of the landing page, two versions of the funnel here. We have version two right here. This one's a little bit more involved. It's got click to call phone number up here on top. Looks great on mobile as well. And all of these claim your free session buttons. There's a theme here. This is to get people to claim a free training session. All of the content, everything on this page is already pre-written for you. It literally is turnkey. You don't have to worry about coming in here and changing the text. All of this is plagiarism free. I came up with all of it. I wrote it for you. So all you have to do is fill out the custom values, change some of the pictures. I would prefer you change the pictures um, to the actual dog trainers, pictures that they have on their phone or on their computer. Testimonials, you do need to change the testimonials. And right here, I have a section where it talks about like three different services that they might offer. So maybe someone already has a dog that's already trained or they're getting a new puppy or, or something, or um, these are opportunities to cross sell. If they have different programs already, cool. You can go ahead and put in their programs here, but if they don't have any other programs, say they just do dog training, you can educate them a little bit and let them know, hey, it would actually help your bottom line a little if you had something that you could cross sell or have something that you could upsell to your existing clients. It's a lot easier to um, sell, resell something to an existing customer than to try to get a new customer. So if they have a customer base, it would make more sense for them to have more offers to extend to their existing customer base. So these are examples of offers that I came up with for you. So if they don't have anything, they can use these. If they already have something, you can replace these. A little bit more content here, another image, and a map of the local area, and the very simple form, name, email, phone number. Ah, um, cancel. Name, email, phone number to claim their free session. Same form that's up here. And we have a light version of that funnel as well. Got the logo up top, background image. And then got the crazy discount offer here. This is what I call like the Groupon offer. So when we're to go to Groupon and look for a discount on dog training services, this is similar to something that they would see. Same name, email, phone number, claim their free session, have a real customer testimonial right here. And a map of the local area. What I do is I just take the address of the dog trainer, go to Google Maps and I just take a screenshot of the map. So that way all the local customers will see the map and recognize it and um, just get that like peace of mind that yes, this person lives right around the corner from me. So whether it's, you know, a lead comes through page one or page two, they're going to land on the um, calendar page. So once the lead comes through, there is an instant notification that goes to the dog trainer instantly. So as soon as a lead comes through, enters their name, email, phone number to claim their free session, there's a notification that goes out to the dog trainer, and then there's an email that goes out to the lead that just came through on behalf of the dog trainer, 
Um, it's a five-part email follow-up series, as well as some text messages just saying, hey, we got your information, we appreciate you, um, here's a little bit of our story. But they will also come here to this appointment booking page. Um, the whole purpose is to get them to try to book their appointment, their training session, so they can come here, they can schedule uh, their appointment, name, email, phone number, those are sticky contacts, so whatever information they just entered will carry over to here, but they will have to enter their dog breed. And then they can go ahead and lock in their time. And then they'll land on this confirmation page, which will have their appointment information right up here, has their first name here to personalize it a little bit. And then a smiling picture of the actual dog trainer. I just pulled one from the internet here. You are going to have to replace this with the actual dog trainer that, are, that you are using this snapshot to promote. It'd be good if they had a picture of them looking at the camera and smiling with teeth. If they don't have one, offer to use your awesome smartphone to take their picture. Um, if they do have one, just have them send it to you. So those are the funnels, They're really good. Um, those are proven, those, both of those funnels are proven to convert traffic into leads like wildfire. Here are the automations. We have a beefed up appointment confirmation reminder campaign. It's not just the generic um, high level appointment confirmation campaign, but this is actually like a, a pretty sweet one that constantly follows up and um, it, it follows up based on if they reply, if they don't reply, if they reply with negative intent, like it, it covers all bases. Here is the new lead notifications you can see it goes ahead and it tags the new lead it assigns it to the user you're going to have the dog trainer entered into the system as a team member they get added to the pipeline um, send the information send a text to the staff and send an email to the staff and then waits a minute and then it starts the email and text message follow-up process to the lead so you can see you know, it's a good little follow-up sequence here that spans about a week. I call it the, the soap opera sequence, or it's called the soap opera sequence. Each email is, um, its purpose is either to get people to book an appointment if they haven't already, or to get them to open the next day's email and read, and to open the next day's email and read. So it's to get to have them build trust build rapport and get into a conversation in their head with the dog trainer so by the time that they do meet and they do schedule their appointment the customer in their mind they've already gotten to know the dog trainer through all of the follow-ups that we have if the contact replies we notify the dog trainer so they can open up their app or go onto their computer and jump into the conversations tab and talk to them using the tracking phone number and keeping track of the conversations we have database reactivation, discount offers, and birthday templates. Those go out um, to reactivate their existing customer database. So if they have a list of people they've worked with in the past, you're going to get that from them. You're going to upload the contacts, and you're going to um, tag the contacts with the appropriate tag to fire off this database reactivation sequence because it's a lot easier to get existing customers to buy something from you again than it is to get a new customer to buy something from you. We have a text flow that goes out for holidays. I'll show you this one real quick. Um, I have all of the, the major American holidays on here. If you're not in America, this can be revamped for other ones, but it's just a nice little, you know, hey, thinking of you, happy whatever the holiday is type of, type of campaign there. Um, if the appointment's canceled, if there's missed call text back, no-show reactivations, these are pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet automations right there. And then here are the email templates. It's a four-part email series, not five-part, I'm sorry. Um, you see they're all pre-written for you. They're pre-written in a way. I went in and I checked this right before I made this video just to make sure. Um, they're pre-written in a way to where you don't have to do anything except for the littlest bit. So you can see what's bold here. Those are the things that you're gonna have to fix. So um, click here to get, well this one, this bold up here, it's actually just, it's gonna be a link and you can see the link, it's already using the trigger link. So you don't have to change anything there. Um, but this, you are gonna have to change this XX years ago to however many years this person's been a dog trainer. So there's, just check each of these emails before you go ahead and make the campaign go live. 
just to make sure if there's any little text like that, that you're good to go. And then let me show you the custom values here. Oh, first the pipeline. So the pipeline, um, you see new customer pipelines, have it set up so there's a new lead that comes in. New leads, once they schedule their free session, they upgraded their service if they chose an upgrade, if they're a current training client, and then if their training is complete, that means that they um, get entered into the database reactivation, uh, you know, database of customers because they've finished their session. If someone did not book for upgraded service, they just did the free session up front, or if they do not want upgraded service. So these ones, these ones need to be followed up. These ones just don't want it. You can go ahead and put on a do not disturb for them. Maybe try to reactivate them or offer them a free session later on. So that's the pipeline. I think my mouse died. So yeah. And then we have the custom values right here. Custom values, these are just what you're going to... Um, actually, let me change my face over here. I want to put all of them on this first page. There's only like 12 or 11. Yep. Yeah. So the sender name, this is going to be the dog trainer's name. Actually, I'll go ahead and I'll just change that right now. So this is the name that's going to be um, tagged in all of the emails that go out, things like that. The uh, discount offer name, so whatever the services that you're offering on the discount funnel, put that here, the discount amount, the market name, the area name, wherever they're going to be serving the Blue Water area. This you're going to just link to the logo. So what I do is I just go to media over here, upload the logo, right click it, get the link, and then I paste it here. The agency name and email, these are going to be, um, these are on the texts and email notifications that go to the dog trainer whenever a new lead comes in. So have them whitelist these, and that way they get every single lead in their primary inbox and nothing will go to spam. Once you connect the domain, you're going to put the calendar link and the discount funnel link right here. These are connected to all the automations. So once you get the correct links here, they're automatically in all the emails and text messages. This is going to be the tracking phone number. I prefer you use Twilio or the lead connector number that you can um, get right here in your high level account. But if you have Google Voice or Grasshopper or Call Rail or something else, whatever you're using, make sure to just use a tracking phone number for all of your online campaigns. You don't want to use their existing cell phone number or whatever they fo their phone number that they have on all their billboards and yard signs and things like that, um, their business cards. You want a different phone number for your online campaigns so you can track your effectiveness and show just how effective everything is and how much money you're really making them. And then this is the industry name. This is just used in a few different spots in the um, snapshot on the funnels. So that is it in a nutshell. And um, yeah, this is an incredible, incredible snapshot. I have I have even more updates actually on the way, but for right now, this is complete. You can launch it within 20 minutes. Go ahead, pick up this dog trainer snapshot today and get it launched for your clients this weekend. I hope you have a good day. If you have any questions or you want to know how to pick it up, just let me know.